We're back again with another episode of my wife's amazing cooking. She's gonna make it, and uh, my part is eating it <laughs> and videoing it. So we're making peach cobbler. I do have different recipes that I kind of follow, but I just make them the way my mom always taught me to make them. So it's a little different than the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the pan and then get the peaches in the, in the pan. And these are peaches that I canned myself. Okay, I gotta use them. Oh. Okay. It's nice to have strong husbands. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the peaches in the pan here. They already have a, a syrup that is kind of made when you can them, but um, I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar to them. So I always just break them up a little bit so they're more bite-sized. I really enjoy canning. It's something I look forward to every year. It's a lot of work, but it always feels worth it. I'm so good at it, babe. And so now I'm going to put in not a full cup of sugar. This is half-ish. Um, I think I'll just go with that, about half a cup. And just kind of somewhat mix it in. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the technically correct way to make peach cobbler, but this is the we best way. <laughs> this is the best way to make peach cobbler. <laughs> it's the only way, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna make the batter. And first you take a stick of butter, and most recipes call for melting the butter in the pan. I don't know why, that's just not the way I've always done it, so. This is homemade butter. This is homemade butter. I'm gonna melt it over here. Okay. The butter's pretty melted now, so I'm going to put that in there. This is a really easy recipe, I mean. Use a self-rising flour, so it's not like you have all kinds of little things that go in there. It's just very simple. And one cup of sugar. And now one and a half cups of self-rising flour. Now we need a cup of milk. So where did you learn your baking skills? Well, definitely my mom, um, but I come from a family of a lot of good cooks. So my grandma did not like cooking. She's she's passed away just a couple of months ago. So there's a lot of things that I learned from her, and I'm glad that I learned them, like making butter. She taught me how to make butter and. She didn't enjoy cooking. She always enjoyed being outside. That was her thing, being outside. She said she'd rather be in the field than to be working in the house. Yeah, yeah, she wanted to be out in the field. She wanted to watch the men make hay. She didn't want to have to, but she, you know, her responsibility was to make the meals for the working men, so that's what she did. And again, this is not the way a lot of recipes call for doing it, but it works. So that's the way I do it. Just try to evenly spread out the batter over the top of the peaches. I would say peach cobbler is one of Jared's favorites, so that's why it's worth it to me to make. It's definitely my favorite cobbler. Which I have canned blackberries too that I need to cobble with sometime. Try to spread it out here. And as it bakes, it'll puff up. I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. Okay. Now 
Now the oven is preheated to 350, so I'm going to put it in here. And magically in a few seconds, you will see peach cobbler. You don't have to keep <laughs> going, no. <laughs> Took about 50, 55 minutes oh, on 350. Um, but my wife says people get too concerned about how long to put it in. She said just bake it until it's done. So, <laughs> that's how long you bake it. Bake it till it's done. Get a nice fluffy cake. Put a crust on top. <laughs> Come on, Jerry Allen. Oh. That's this dude. <laughs> I, I, I am coming. Are you excited about having some cake and ice cream? Yeah. Mm. Cake and ice cream. Now for the important part is a men's taste test. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, Jerry Allen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ice cream. I need to get you a spoon, don't I? Here you go. In Tennessee, the ice cream of choice is Mayfield. I don't know how far they serve it, but it's some good ice cream. It's made in Tennessee. This batter up top here turns into yeah, and, 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 like a, and, and just like a fluffy cake. And it just soaks what? up all that peach juice. Yep. Put it with a little bit of ice cream. It's delicious. Even with making a video, taking a little bit longer, it only took eight minutes to get this mixed up and put into the oven. So it's a fast, easy, delicious recipe. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you want to tell them? Yeah. Thank you for watching. God bless. God bless.